Rockford's number one hit music station, 97 ZOK. It's Sweet Lenny and some afternoon sleeves now with Midday Michelle. Hello. Hello. So, uh, Parks and Rec, I almost call it The Office. That's not the name of the show. The Parks and Rec folks got together last night mm -hmm. for a reunion of sorts. Yes, not like margaritas. No, no. Maybe after. No, but no, this was because what now? It was like a, was was it a festival. What is that? All right, cool. <laughs> I have Googled it so many times. It's like where, I think it's like um, a panel of sorts. Oh, so kind of like maybe like a comic book convention? Yeah. Thing, like a con? Yeah, called? and I tend to get like confused when I read Paley Fest. I think about like Paleo Diet yeah, and then I get so all I sorts of, of dinosaur confused. Dinosaur festivals. Like I like... was on the Paleo Diet and you can have hummus. So I was sad. So I, I'm not very interested in why they were together. I'm more interested in the fact that at their togetherness, they uh -huh. discussed whether or not they would have an actual televised show reunion. So who was the one who was talking about this reunion? Was it Rashida Jones? No, it was my friend Amy Poehler. Oh, Amy Poehler was talking about it. Yes, and she was like, when Michael Schur is tech available, which she previously used that phrase for herself, that she was What's tech available. What's tech available? Like technically or like tech period available? It's just T E C H, so okay, I don't know if it's okay. slang. We really know a lot about this. Topic. I will tell you, this is all I know. Is they, they took a picture together last night. Yes, they did. And they posted it, and Rashida Jones posted it on her Instagram. They were all there, which is yes. really nice because sometimes people don't show up. Yes, and um, Ron Ron Swanson was mm -hmm. looking not Ron Swansony. He was just like regular. Yeah, well, he didn't weird. have the big mustache or anything. I like when they play their parts. It's probably one of the best ensemble comedy shows ever. I'm just going to say that. I really love it. I don't know if I would give it that honor, but I do think that I really like Amy Poehler so, and Aziz, so like, do it again. And then also, like, they have Chris Pratt. I mean, this show is... They do have quite like, a bit. It has aged so much better since it's since in the past. I mean, because, like, I think when, when it was on, I don't think people really appreciated it. Sure. And now with binge-watching and stuff like that, now, you yes, you can watch the whole thing and just... That, I've never watched it when it was on TV, but when it was on Netflix, I just blew through like all six, seven seasons. Like, I think much months. like many people have said recently, I know I was telling you, Mark Paul Gosselaar said the same thing about Saved by the Bell. Oh, if it's a good thing, I'll, I'm right on. Mm -hmm. Like, and Amy Poehler pretty much said the same thing. She's available if it's a good script, if it's a good story. Sure. So it's like, so hey, who, somebody write these scripts. Somebody should ask Chris <laughs> Pratt if he's going to be available, because I have a feeling that he's in the show. He might be busy. What if they... What if they do a Saved by the Bell and Parks and Rec together? Could those two go? Saved by the Rec? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Park by the Bell? Amy can save the day. All right. We're, we're going to get more. <laughs> On Twitter and 97Z. Okay. Bruno Mars and the Chainsmokers coming up here on 97Z. Okay.